Goldie. Big little girl. Are you making daddy work hard for those laughs? You were laughing a second ago. Shove it in there, girl. Get it down your pie hole. What's the matter? The thing is, you've got to give me the spoon to put more on the spoon. friends and welcome back to this week's episode this week's vlog and um, not really sure what's happening this week so just going to take you on the ride um no oh something to share with you though guess what arrived today let me go get it let me just go get it a sec another mother's day card so oh, go on tell them he did buy one. No, I'll tell them the rest of it. Unless you really quickly ordered it. No, I'm joking. Our post is very sporadic. We don't get it every day, so. Well done, eh? No, go and tell them the rest. What? No, you know exactly what. No, no. it's those... a lovely card. Don't play those games. So the card arrived, and it is a beautiful card. Obviously, it's not got a message in it because he hasn't he written he wrote in the other card. But I did say to him, well, why did you get this off Etsy in the first place? Because it's not like personalized. It doesn't say my first Mother's Day or there's not a picture on it that you have to upload or anything. So really you could have just got a card from the same time. Ungrateful. I'm not ungrateful, it was a yes, you are. genuine question. Ungrateful. Well, no, normally when you buy a card from Etsy, it's, all right. it's because I, it's personalised. I won't do it again. But what I did say was save it for next year. Well, we're not doing that. That's utterly, utterly stupid. It's chill now. Baby's asleep. I'm making really fancy hot chocolate. And I bought this from Ocado because I thought I want to try and make like a healthy hot chocolate. And cacao powder is uh, very good for you. Very good for you indeed. Um, so I'm going to make hot chocolate with organic cacao powder, hot water obviously, some whole milk and a bit of maple syrup. I'm also making the boy a black coffee because he can have caffeine at any time of day apparently. Although saying that there's probably caffeine in cacao powder. But we move. Whoa, strong. And there we go. What's a teaspoon then? That's a heaped te teaspoon, I would say. Two, three. That's sticking to my spoon. Also, the size of this mug, I need about 10 teaspoons, don't I? I hope this is nice and doesn't taste like shit. <laughs> it's dissolved quite well. Good start. Nice bit of lumpy hot chocolate there. A little bit of maple maple. Why does it have the tiny, tiny, tiniest little handle? It's rather irritating. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. I don't want too much. So now I feel fancy. Now I feel like I've got a cup of hot cocoa. Not hot chocolate, do you know what I mean? It's it's cocoa. It's actually cacao, cacao. I'm gonna be really sad if it tastes of shit. I'll be honest as well. Yeah, it tastes of shit. I didn't put enough maple syrup in it, but I just wanna put loads more in. I've got an idea. I have this, it's sweet now, which I normally don't like, but it's liquid stevia, and stevia is the only sweetener that I am okay with. It is quite strong, so let's sweeten it a bit. If that, I would probably get used to the cacao taste not being sweet, but I think I need to just over time reduce the sweetness. 
very bitter, very bitter. Although something Two Eyes and I have done for the last three weeks now, and it's really worked, we've bought, and now don't be sick on me, all right? Don't vomit in your mouth. We've bought 90% lint chocolate. So like the mega, mega dark, and like it is literally, it's so dark, it's good for you. Um, but in a bar of lint chocolate, I'll get it, two secs. Lint excellence, and there's 10 squares in there, so we're allowed five each. Me being the controlling personality that I am, I have one a day from Monday to Friday, yeah? And it stops me eating a bag of buttons every night. <laughs> um, whereas Ian just like munches away and has whatever, has his five whenever he wants. He hasn't had any of my five yet, which is good. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, see that's so much better and it's really nice, but that liquid stevia is really strong. So what I need to do is like gradually decrease the sweetness over time and then I'll soon be so used to bitter chocolate. Not bitter at all. Um, we are going to sit down and watch the final two episodes of One Day, which is on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, highly recommend. There's only 14 episodes and they're quite like short episodes. They're not like hour long. And oh my God, it's absolutely got me. I am in, I'm invested. I don't know what the ending is gonna be, but I've seen online everywhere that it's really sad. So I'm trying to guess what it is. I've got a few kind of ideas, but it's not predictable. Well, for me anyway, maybe I'm simple. So I'm really excited to see the end of it, but I'm also not ready to bawl my eyes out. That is actually really nice now. Mmm. I'll take it. Morning. No. No, I didn't film any more last night. Why? Because I was a sobbing mess. I highly recommend the series, but just make sure you're like mentally stable and in a good place because oh, yeah I don't want to ruin it for you I won't give you any spoilers but it's a heartbreaker on to happier brighter notes I have got my vitamin drink with warm water and slices of lemon did I even show you I don't think I showed you my vitamin drink let me just show you two secs so I've been following this guy on insta for a while tonic health I don't know his actual name um and I really like, I really like his content. So he sold me on his vitamins. Um, it's like a tablet that dissolves, which I also prefer. I always forget to take tablets. Whereas I always have like a morning hot beverage. This is raspberry and lemon. Now I'm not 100% whether you're meant to put it with hot water. I'm thinking that to be cold water. So what I do is like lukewarm water. Cause then I think, well, it's not killing, hopefully it won't kill the vitamins. Um, but there's so much goodness in it and there's no like shit in it, no fillers, nothing like that. So I really like it. They do another, they do another flavour as well, like an orange and mango flavour I think. But yeah, raspberry and lemon, which I put with some fresh lemon in there. And then I've got my shaky shaky there. I'm off to see a friend today who's got a newborn. So God help my ovaries. I'm gonna be like, Ian, fuck the wedding. Well, let's give Gigi a sibling. Um, but I mustn't because I really want my dress. But yeah, I'm getting newborn cuddles today, which is also gonna freak me out because it's gonna make me realize even more how massive Gigi is. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for baby Jack cuddles. Hello, I'm cutting a pineapple. Um, this crownless pineapple was like 90p. Oh god, I need a bit of body weight behind this. Am I gonna, um... oh, pineapple smells so good, man. tutorial right now. Cut the core, turn, cut the core, oh that was better, 
This side looks a bit dodgy, I'm honest. And I'll cut it down the middle and go one, two, three. Can you hear Miss Break Rachel in the background? Lovely morning meeting little Jack um, and seeing my friend in the trenches of uh, newborn life. He's only three weeks old, and we all know how three week olds sleep, but she is smashing motherhood. And yes, it made me broody as hell. Other than that, I've just been pottering, just pottering around the house today. But when Ian got in earlier, do you know what he suggested to do tonight? Which is probably one of the best suggestions he's had in a long time. Start looking at honeymoon destinations. I mean, oh my God, I could eat this entire pineapple. We can absolutely look, this is really, <laughs> we can look at honeymoon destinations. That's not creepy at all, is it? Um, I'm really sorry about the background noise, but if I have to endure it, you have to endure it. I really want to go to a Caribbean island of some kind, or like, I don't know, Barbados, or the Bahamas or something. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> but yeah, might have a little look later and see what we can't afford. <laughs> hey, are you gonna help me pick a winner then? I'm sorry. Can you help me pick a winner for my Instagram giveaway? Um, yeah, go on then. What am I doing? So, what I'm going to do... Well, I'm picking the winner. Yeah. But I'm going to get it up on my sure phone. you sure you allow me to do that? No, what, let me explain. I'm going to get it up on my phone. I'm going to load all the comments. Right. There's 168 comments. So let me load them all. So what... How are you doing it? I'll shut tell you in a minute. Patience is oh, key. Oh, you know I'm not. I don't like this. Right. So I've loaded. Oh, I need to like those last two. So I've loaded every single comment on this post, and what I'm going to do is just scroll up and down like this, so that every single person gets seen. I'm going to scroll all the way up, all the way down. You're not going to see anything, and you're going to tell me when to stop. And when I stop, wherever I stop, there's going to be like a few comments. Then I'm going to do this. And then when you tell me to stop, I'm going to point. But I'm not going to look at that point. Okay, it's really long-winded, but I'm just going to keep scrolling. Unbelievable. So when am I saying it now? Whenever you want. You're in control. What am I saying? Just stop. <laughs> stop. Don't stop. Thirteen minutes later. Fucking hell, son. There you are. Stop. Right. Now I'm going to do this because there's a few people here. Right. I'm not going to look at this point. Tell me when to stop. Don't look. Oh, because I can Come see. Come on! Stop. Oh, wait a minute, it's two seconds. I've just. Right, go. Stop. Right, so it's that person. Don't say it out loud because I'm going to click I... onto their profile. She follows me. Good start. Now I'm going to see if she's shared me. She hasn't. So we go again because she didn't share me on her story. Okay. I've got to follow the rules. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Tell me when to stop. Stop. They follow me. They shared me, look. You didn't show me, did you? There. They shared me. And they did the comment. The only thing I can't check is YouTube because 
um, it doesn't tell me names of people that have subscribed so I'm gonna trust that for everything else so it is M page 94 now by the time this vlog goes out you're already gonna know because I'm gonna post it on my Instagram first but um, Emily page congratulations go on Emily go on Emily go on Gil let me check her um, DM actually what did she say so she shared when she shared her screenshot, she put, bloody love you, Chelsea. So real, lovely and funny. And I'm really enjoying your new vlog venture, girl. Fingers crossed for me in this amazing comp. Wow. It's Go your on. lucky day. Meant to be. Meant oh, to be. that's made me really happy. So I was going to say I'll be in touch, but I would have already been in touch with you by the time this vlog goes out. So Emily Page. Screenshot. Big up, Emily. You are Big the winner. Big up, Emily. So I'm going to do the announcement now and tell Emily and then we're going to look at honeymoon destinations. Oh my god. No, that was my idea actually. Yeah, I that said that on the vlog earlier. Yeah. I want to go to Barbados! Obviously we want it to be hot, sunny, beachy, cocktail vibes. Like I said earlier, the Caribbean is a little bit of me. Somewhere where you feel like you're not on planet Earth. I need a bit of reggae or some still drums in the background or sank. I don't need that. Though. I need that. So is that just you saying that's what we are doing? No, that's that's the part of the holiday that I want. What what do you want? Um some shine. <laughs> just somewhere that's hot and Exactly, you're not bothered, are you? I don't even care. Right, exactly. I don't even care. Give me a bit of Wi-Fi so I can keep in touch with all the football and watch the football. Oh, fuck um, yeah. And I'll be sound. There we go. Easy Somewhere please. where you look in the sea and you're like, oh my God, I can see my face. It's that clear. <laughs> I thought you were going to say see my feet. I could have said that and I probably should have said that. That would have been better. <laughs> we are finally painting the cupboard. I've got it behind me, I've pulled it out, I've got a sheet under it, an old sheet, and um, yeah, I'm gonna slap some paint on it. So, I've gone for French Chic paint. Is that how you pronounce it, Fren French Chic? I don't know. It's the lazy range, so I don't have to prime it or anything, because I'm a lazy bitch, as you know. Um, and I've gone for the color Love Letter, which is a kind of dusky pink, really. Um, that color, I was gonna go pastel, and it's a little bit darker than pastel. However, I've just opened it. Oh, it's so nice. -da -da -da. I think it'll go really cute with the prints above the cupboard. So yeah, I'm no professional. Um, I'm just gonna slap it on and see. I mean, this is gonna be an absolute bodge job. I've got really cute knobs to put on. I'm not gonna show you, I'm not, because I'm gonna leave that as a surprise at the end. I'll do a little time lapse for you. Um, and then I'll give you a big reveal at the end. I only went and did it, didn't I? I'm looking at it now. I'm not gonna show you yet because I want it to dry. I wanna put the knobs on and I wanna put it back in its place before I do the big reveal to you, but I love it. I love it so much. It's taken me less than two hours and I had a break in the middle where I had some lunch and I've done two coats. It dries so quickly. So I didn't really need two coats, but it did, if you know what I mean. So I just did it anyway. And there's paint left over. Um, it looks epic. I can't stop looking at it. Do you like it, E? What? Um... The massive cupboard right in front of me. Not 100% sure at the moment, to be honest. Okay. You wait, babe. You wait until it's in its place. It's got its knobs on. Oh, it's right, going to yeah. finish off. It's just going to complete that corner. Probably look quite nice the way it were anyway. Yeah, but that colour matches that pink in some of those prints. Oh, yeah, it just but... ties in. It dried ever so quickly. Put the knobs on. They look out of this world. Camera skills. Can we give her the round of applause that she deserves? Just st 
stunning. I'm really proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. These knobs are knobbing. They're from this place, the Gables Workshop. Well, I got them off Etsy, but that's the company. So, you go Glen Coco. Obviously I didn't do inside, I'm not a psychopath, but I think I did the edges quite well, to be fair. So yeah. One happy upcycle queen. A terrible personality trait of mine is doing something like this and then going, actually, I'm all right, I might start a business upcycling furniture. <laughs> I will not do that, all right? Starting one business this year is gonna be enough, along with this vlog and a baby and a wedding plan. <laughs> yeah, let's not. But it has got me thinking about like upcycling stuff. Like I got that cupboard for 20 pounds off Facebook Marketplace and then the paint was what, 14 pounds I think? And then the knobs, I think were a tenner, something like that. 44 pounds. And it's one of a kind. Definitely gonna do more stuff like that in the future rather than just relying on Ikea. Nothing wrong with Ikea. I've got a lot of Ikea bits I have, but just that little jazzy bit of personality, do you know what I mean? Oh my sweet lord. I think I slept for approximately three hours last night. I think that's a PB. It's a PB, guys. Now, it's partly my fault. Goldie went to bed late last night. She went to bed more like eight o'clock, which is unlike her. She's up feeding as well at like, I wanna say 11, one-ish, three-ish, and then got up at six. And then just to add to that fun, which I deserve zero sympathy for, I can't stop looking at honeymoon options and holidays. And I was up, and I was up late looking, and then I was wired. And I just kept going over things in my head and thinking of new ideas. Obviously, taking Goldie, we need a family holiday. Like, we need more of like a family holiday vibe. But a lot of the family friendly hotels that are all inclusive, which we want kind of for ease really, and are in a hot country in January, i.e. Mexico, which is beautiful and would love to go to. They're all like fucking huge resorts with like water parks in and 24 restaurants and 67 bars. And that I'm not interested in. Like I don't want to walk 10 miles to my room and then to the breakfast buffet. Like I really want like a serene, tranquil honeymoon, but I have a baby. She's gonna be like 17 months, so literally just under a year and a half. So she, she's gonna be like toddling about and stuff, but she's not gonna need splash parks and anything like that. Do you know what, I just looked over there and as tired as I am, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased I have a lovely cupboard. <laughs> right, it's tea. Friends, you'll never guess what I've done. You will never guess. Actually, I think you will because I've been non-stop going on about it. I have just booked our honeymoon. I, it's always I, isn't it? Jesus. Yeah, because you don't do any form of research. Such a great job. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Tell them where we're going. Goldie, come here. You tell them where you're going. <laughs> come here, Baba. Come here, my little angel. I cannot believe that this is gonna be Goldie's first holiday. <sighs> the kid doesn't even know she's born. But actually, it's our first holiday together, E. Second. Well, we went with family, didn't we? I mean, like, on our own. Baba, um, where are we going? Right, tell me to be quiet. Where are we going? Let's just go. We're going to the Maldives. <laughs> We're going to the Maldives. Be excited, Goldie. Oh my gosh, are you gonna be a beach babe? You are. In your beach bungalow. Oh no, she can see your phone. Oh, she's obsessed. Um, I can't What's believe it, guys. Goldie? Like, What's that's that? honestly like an ultimate dream. I wasn't even looking at the Maldives um, the last few days because, to be honest with you, I thought there's no way 
on earth there's going to be something in our budget but i'm friggin genius and i'm i've hunted those deals down um and i can't believe it i think i'm still in shock like i can't believe we did have a wait there my big baby i can't believe outstanding behavior <laughs> from you you're an absolute joke can't you don't three poo she's try and them. kiss me um winnie's take so many nappies to the maldives right we're going a couple of weeks after our wedding we're going in january which is just going to be a beautiful time it's actually peak season in the maldives at that time but obviously it's crap in the uk in january so how hot we're talking I think about 30, Ooh, which is going to be Do you like too 30 hot degree? for Goldie, yeah. No, it's not. She's going to be a beach bee. We got Aircon. She's going to walk around everywhere. Um, She'll yeah. go paddle boarding. Yeah. Paddle boarding. I can't believe it. She'll go on boats. We're going to the Maldives. We didn't... Um, We've got like a beautiful beachfront bungalow, which is right on the sea. And like a little terrace with like sun loungers which is just like epic we haven't got a water villa like an over the water villa which i'm okay with because you didn't want one did you well you'll give me pure anxiety i say i didn't want one if they give us an upgrade <laughs> i'm not gonna say no um i'll just keep my beady eye on goldie even more than oh. i already will but yeah so hey i've got my dream christmas wedding followed by Followed by my dream honeymoon. It's actually a really tiny island. I didn't realise how many islands there were. You can literally walk around the whole thing in 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Um, oh, are you all right? What, I moved out the way for you. Let's just hope we don't get bored. I don't think we will. We're, we're very chill people. I don't love... Get bored. Well, no, lots of people have said to me, because I said, do we, do we do seven nights all inclusive? Or do we do 10 nights full board? Because... And so, like, basically everyone said do seven nights all-inclusive because then... <laughs> because the drinks, etc., are really, really expensive and they said you'll be bored after seven days, you'll be ready to go home. But we've gone for, we've gone we for longer for full board because... Oh, we're ignoring you now! Because we're not drinkers. Like, we'll have a few drinks, but it's not worth the extra thousand pounds for us, is it? For mm. alcohol. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really good at doing nothing. Go I'm deep, really Baba. good at... Do you wanna get out? Sit on the beach. To be honest, that is extremely naive of me because we're t we're taking a 17 month old. So Just say 18 months. Well, she's literally gonna be 17 months. So, we're not gonna be sitting down. We're not gonna be bored. We're gonna be running around after her, making sure that she's not... No. She's gonna be in the eating everything inside. She's gonna be in the um, sea every day. Yeah. In the sea every day. In the pool. She's gonna be going on the um, paddle, board. paddle boards. All the other boats. We'll be launching her off my shoulders. She's gonna be slam dunking everywhere. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be decent. Yeah. Not us watching YouTube to uh, check out the island that we're going to be living on. It's Saturday morning. It's bright out there. So much so, I've apparently put on like a summer shirt. Like, who do I think I am? And why do I think it's 18 degrees outside when it's definitely not? Come get ready with me. I've done my skincare. So I'm just going to shove on my tinted moisturiser and some mascara. You know the drill by now. Um, I feel like this this week's vlog is literally like just shitty chit chat all over the place and i feel like it's a bit of a nothing video and this is classic like the imposter syndrome syndrome coming in of like your shit anyway yeah we're popping out today and i need to get my dad it's my dad's 60th birthday today happy birthday daddy love you very very much um him and mother are away this weekend celebrating um which is so lovely and then tomorrow we've got a surprise meal for him obviously by the time this video is out the meal would have happened so he would know um but i need to pop into town and get some big ass balloons and tell the world that he's 60 
<laughs> Sol's dad. Oh my god. He sings it all the time. I swear he does it on purpose as well, knowing that I'm vlogging. Like he does it louder. Um yes, so that is the plan today to go and get some balloons and to go for a nice walk and feel spring like. By the way, I had quite a good sleep last night. I went to bed early. I mean, Gigi still was fed three times, but I went to bed super early. And Ian, after like I fed at six o'clock, Ian went downstairs with her and I slept in. I had the nicest lay in. So grateful. So um, yeah, so I'm a little bit more human today. I still can't get my words out though. <laughs> yeah, last night, before I had an early night, I sat in bed and I did a sheen order. I say I did a sheen order. I think I did about seven. So I've got, I won those sheen, that sh I won that sheen game quite a few times. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, and then I did the giveaway for it and I gave Emily, um, I did her order the other day. So I'm really, really excited for Emily. She was like mega grateful as well. It like went to like a really lovely grateful person. I have basically the last week or so just been putting a ton of stuff in my wish list. It was like a catalogue. I think I had like 240 items in there or something. So I was sifting through them last night. Now, I said to myself, I wasn't gonna spend the whole wallet straight away because I wanna like save it for future. But the you, when you win the game, you get credit and you get vouchers. The credit lasts, but the vouchers expire after like a week um, or like 10 days or maybe or something. And the vouchers are really good because they're like, if you spend a hundred pounds, is that it? If you spend, no, if you spend 130, you get 40 pound off or something like that. And I've got quite a few of those vouchers. And obviously I'll use my wallet money anyway, like not actual money. So by using them a few times, you get shit loads more for your money as well. So I have got a ridiculous amount of parcels coming, ridiculous. Like I don't have that much left in my wallet and there was a lot in there. But firstly, just to justify myself, not that I need to, but I'm going to, yeah, I've bought loads of stuff. I have bought some stuff for like summer this year because all my summer clothes are um, bigger sizes or maternity from last year. So I have treated myself to a few bits, but I've got Gigi loads of stuff for the summer for 12 to 18 months and even 18 to 24, because I've got her loads of like holiday stuff for the honeymoon. I've got me loads of stuff for the honeymoon. I've also got loads of stuff for the wedding, like little bits and bobs, table decorations and accessories, stuff like that, because they do all sorts. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna share of that with you, because I kind of want to keep some wedding -y stuff a surprise, but there's some really cool things on there. There's one thing in particular that costs like 100 quid and I cannot believe it was on there, to be honest. And I've never even seen it before or heard of it. I don't know why I'm telling you, because I'm teasing you. Um, but it's such a good wedding idea. And I'm really, really pleased with that. Anyway, um, I'll stop teasing. Yeah, so I think I've saved money in the in some areas of like the wedding. Although it's absolutely ridiculous. I think I've been I think I've been quite smart with it. It takes like a week to come or something machine. So that'll probably be maybe next week's vlog. Um, I'll have to do a huge Sheen haul. I know Sheen really isn't the best. I know that it's hit or miss. Like half of this stuff I'll probably send back to be honest. But some of the stuff I love on Sheen actually. This is Sheen. And I wore it all last summer and I still really love it. So some of it is a hit. And I know Sheen has this like stigma attached to it. But in my eyes, it's just Primark online and everyone buys from Primark. Like, what is the difference? Like, I love supporting small businesses. I really, really do. But you've got to find a balance in life. Like, my bank balance, I, I can't afford to buy Gigi's entire wardrobe and mine, for that matter, from, like, gorgeous small businesses that are, that are like, 100% sustainable and, like, fucking handmade I don't know I rarely 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 buy anything brand new for Gigi everything's off vintage which is my way as as well of, as doing something sustainable um and I support small businesses like when it's like gifts I like buying people gifts like that but when it comes to like 
get in a few bits, a summer wardrobe, a, a, a holiday wardrobe, those kind of things. And like your basics and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I can't fault Sheen. If you judge Sheen, but you go to Primark, then you're a hypocrite. Right, let me do something with Barnet and then I will show you my my little spring outfit. Guys, I really surprised myself. I thought I'd do a couple of little plaits and I was like, I wonder if I can do a French plait. Well, she went for it. It's giving four year old, but never mind. Just showing my oot fart of the day. So I've got my Zara. Before. I know. You look like um, the girl from the Matilda. I just need to launch you over the fence. Do you want to be Miss Trunchbull? <laughs> or you could have been Miss Trunchbull. Oh my god, I just said it's giving four year old, but it is. What's her name? And she grabs her by the pigtails and oh, swings her around. Oh, for fuck's sake, do I have to take them out? No, you don't. You look like. Have I ever watched a, a video back in the day? I think like they look young, cute and summery. Look like, do you know what you look like? You look like a 90s teenager dressing up as your. Is your favourite, like a Britney or something like that. Tell her, does she look like a young Britney Spears? Fuck you know, thank you so much. You're um, on, so we've got just basic, obviously, summer shirt. I've gone for my Zara cargoes, which I haven't worn yet because they're really quite thin. Yeah. Um, they're not thick ones. So they're super comfy, but a bit chilly willy. So I've braved them today. And I've got the sandals out for the first time. However, I'm not going to zoom in because I haven't painted my nails and I hate that. I never paint my hands really, rarely anyway, and that doesn't bother me, but when my toenails aren't painted, I give myself the ick. Finish getting everything together before we leave the house, pop into town, have a coffee, grab a couple of balloons. Bish, bash, bush. P.S. I still cannot believe we are going to the Maldives. Ribbed jumper, ribbed flares, and the cutest bum you ever did see. Still with a ball patch. Are you teething yet? We can't decide. Sometimes I feel like she is, sometimes I'm like, no. But, big girl, ate so much porridge this morning, didn't you? Definitely like the most she's ever had and kept going like, ah, for more, which was so cute. So I think we're finally there. Did you turn seven months yesterday? <gasps> Happy seven months, baby. This is goals right now. We've even got matching vans, matching combats, matching jumpers. The only problem is, so the vans, right, they're the right length, but her feet are so fat that I can't get her in them. So they're wasted. But never mind, chubby feet. Goldie, Goldie. Goldie, 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 Goldie. Ah! <laughs> Where's Goldie? Where's my baba? Right, my arm's falling off. Come join us for lunch. Guys, we were wandering in town and there's, um, there is such a beautiful, what would you even call this place? I mean, technically, I guess it's a restaurant, but they've got like a coffee shop on the front of the restaurant. It's called The Barn. Um, well, the restaurant's called The Barn and I think the coffee shop's called like the, the townhouse barn or something in Chichester. Anyway, if you're close to it, highly, highly recommend. So we went into the coffee shop to look at the ridiculous croissants. And then we were like, should we sit down and have a coffee? And then we sat down, looked at the menu, and now we're full on ordering lunch. So look, we're in this like ski chalet. And Ari has got his flat white coffee. Oh, I built in that. Is it nice? This is our little chalet, Val de Sia. Big up to Emma, <laughs> big up Emma. Go on Emma, girl. Is that the owner? Yeah, Emma has written two cookery books as well and became wow. a food judge, a guide of fine Emma food. knows her stuff. She knows her stuff. Sleepy baby. I ordered lunch because I got excited and then I thought I've already had lunch. <laughs> I've had a bowl of porridge and I had some pasta and now it's two o'clock and I'm about to have... Makes up for yesterday that you didn't eat. Yeah, to be fair, maybe that's why. I'm actually hungry. I'm having smashed apple with beets and, and then feta. Chelsea, and then Chelsea goes, um, should we just look into M&S and get a meal deal? And, um, and I'm like, who do you think you 
you are. To be fair, I said that before. Bougie, aren't you? Yeah. I said Bougie. that before we, we decided for lunch, to be fair. I'll, we'll get out of here and we'll be like, come on, come on, us. Well, we need to eat dinner, shall we? Have a look. <laughs> oh my gosh, get in my face. Would you like to lift up your eggs and bacon and show the people? Oh, it's oh is that too warm? Wow. Oh, it looks so good. I'm Enjoy. Allowed, allowed Bone apple teeth! What? <laughs> Bone apple teeth? Oh. It's like bon appetit, but okay, wasted. Enjoy! I am not good with raw meat. I think you meant to take the um, the strings off. So hot air goes up the bum. So we're going to go for olive oil just in the bottom. I'm going to shove a lemon up its ass. Salt and pepper and butter. Dinner all done, all prepped. Um, can we just talk about how versatile potatoes are? I can't cope. I love a potato. Are we ready? Woo! Jesus. Bitch, be spitting at me. Oh, you've messed up my oven. But you are fit. Yo, I'm not even going to say good morning because it's 20 past 12. Hour and 10 minutes I'm leaving. And for my dad's birthday meal, which is a surprise, which is going to be mega lovely. We've got the balloons ready. I've got his prezzies and his cards ready. Mum got an amazing cake made for him and that's been delivered to the restaurant this morning. So I think it's uh, everything is ready other than myself. And I kept the Amanda Thrips in. Sounds like Cockney Ryman slang or something. <laughs> I kept them in. I'm just about to shower. But I'm going to risk it and not wash my hair. It smells a little bit like roast chicken from last night's dinner, but no, no, it's all right, it smells fresh really. I'm not gonna vlog the birthday meal because it's a lovely family meal and to be honest with you, I choose to vlog my life, but other people don't choose to vlog theirs and I'm sure they wouldn't appreciate a camera being shoved in their face. This is the before. So cute, covered in breast milk. We ready? Okay, so today's fit. Now it's just, it's literally like a nice pub restaurant. It's nothing fancy fancy. And I wanted to be comfortable. Didn't know whether I'm gonna have to, you know, whack a boob out. So I've gone for smart cash comfy. So these are from H&M, like ridiculously comfy. I've got my buffaloes on just to match the colour scheme. I've just got like a Zara cami on and then I've just got this like shirt. I would call it, I'd call it like a champagne colour shimmery shirt which has given a bit smarter vibes. Um, I took my hair out and it was okay. I didn't brush it. I literally just put my fingers through it and then put some hair oil in it. Um, and then I slicked down the top and just putting that behind my ears because it's not doing anything else to be honest. Ooh. And look at these two looking mega smart. Oh my gosh, I cannot with you. I've been waiting for ages for that bow to fit. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen and I'm here for it. Are you ready for Granddad's birthday meal? Goldie was, Mama. Are you going to have a roast dinner? I like your hair. Did you have a nice time at Granddad's meal? Ow, ow. Did you have a nice time? I mean, you were a little overwhelmed at the start. But other than that, we had fun, didn't we? Did you have some sweet? Ow. You like beating mummy up, don't you? Are you going to sleep tonight? Say no. Say no. Say no.
I didn't take any footage whilst we were at the meal, to be fair. I took a picture of the cake. Maybe I'll edit that in somewhere. But um, we had such a lovely time. My auntie drove my nan down as well from Utoxeter, which was so lovely. And a lovely surprise for my dad as well. He really wasn't expecting that. So, yeah, we had a lovely time. Ian's fuming because Liverpool just lost to Man United as well. It's not, a good, it's not a good day. So, Ian probably will not be signing off this video. It'll probably just be me and Goldie. Um, we're just going to leave him in this moment. Um, but yeah, we hope you enjoyed this random video. It was ever so random. Um, but you know what? Life's a little bit random and I just think that's what it's going to just be. But yeah, we will love you and leave you. Please subscribe to our little life. And we will see you in the next one. Say ta ra, Goldie. Ta ra. Ta ra. Oh, we got a ta ra out of you. Just. Bye.